Yesterday we talked about finding just right books, and today I'm going to show you a tool that I love to use when I'm trying to find a book. What I need you to do first is think of a book that you've liked, any book. Then you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in the title of the book and then Goodreads. One book that I liked over the summer was Six of Crows. So I'm typing in the title and then Goodreads. When you click enter, the first link should be the book that you searched within the Goodreads database. Here's why I love Goodreads. For starters, right over here, you'll automatically see books that other people liked when they also liked Six of Crows. So if you hover over, you can just scroll through and take a look at some different book ideas. Let's say you find one that looks interesting. You can click on it, and then you can read the description of the book right here. Another reason that I love Goodreads is because I can read the reviews that other people wrote about the book. So a lot of times, again, this will give me an idea about if I want to read it or not. The last thing that I love that you can find on this page is lists that have this book in it. So I'm going to click on more lists with the book, and you'll see that Six of Crows showed up in lists called YA Novels of 2015, Can't Wait Books of 2015, Best Books of the Decade. That sounds interesting. So if I click on that, I will see a list of all of the books that are in the same list with Six of Crows. So you can see that Goodreads is a really powerful way to get ideas about other books to read based on books that you've already liked. Another way that you can browse Goodreads is by signing up for a Goodreads account. If you go to goodreads.com, you'll see that right here at the top, there's a Google button that'll allow you to sign in with your Google account. You'll click it and it will just ask you to create a password. Let me tell you why I love having a Goodreads account. From my home page, I can see books that other people have recently read and liked. Um, these are my friends, so it's kind of like a Facebook page or social media, so I can see the books that my friends have liked. Another reason that I like it is because if I click on my profile, I can see all of the books that I've ever put into Goodreads. So I never forget, oh, what's that one really great book that I read? Because I can always go to my read shelf and it will show me the books that I've read in um, order from most recently read to least recently read. Finally, when you're signed into Goodreads, you can click on any book want to read and it will add it to a list of books that you can always find in your profile so you won't have to remember what's that one book I wanted to read because it's already in your Goodreads account. So now you have time to go explore. Remember that you're going to start with a Google search that includes a book title and then Goodreads after it and then you'll be able to explore Goodreads without signing in. You of course can create an account if you want to but that's not a requirement. The thing that I expect from you is that by the end of this day that you have created a reader's notebook page that has a list of five to ten books that you want to read based on your search. Have fun!